Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new, my name is Megan. I'm the Uper Gardener, and this is the Uper Gardener channel. We are finally able to make it out to the farm after the storm. Everybody's doing just fine. A lot of, a lot of snow being blown everywhere. And, uh, well, also, I suppose I should have started with this. It's Christmas Day. So for those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. And everybody who does it, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. There are like 28 different religious holidays between like the end of Thanksgiving and the middle of January. So there's a lot of things to celebrate. So happy holidays and I hope everybody has a wonderful celebration. On the next note, I have to go get a shovel to shovel the pigs out because that wind snowed them almost completely in. So I actually have to go back all the way back to the house. I don't know why I left without it. But I'll go back to the house, grab the shovel, and we'll see you down there. Let's go! You got snow on your face, buddy. Yes, you do. Well, we have some really deep snow here. This has been fun. Oh, that one's up to my knee. Can't tell, but it is, I swear. Hey, you got over the hunk of snow. I'm, pr I'm proud, boo-boo. I am proud. Anyways, here we are with Ziggy and Lucy. They are just fine. These are my tracks. So this was completely snowed over. And these poor babies barely have room to get out of there. So I'm gonna shovel a little bit so they have at least some room to exit if they choose to. Success! They've been able to leave. Whew, they've been able to leave their house. I did shovel all the way over to the steps too. Hey you guys. I'm sorry it got so windy and cold. I'm glad you're doing okay. Oh, oh, oh it's okay buddy. I know, we still got a bit of a lip right there, but I don't want to mess with your food right now. Sweet babes. Alright, I gotta update them about the chickens. Boo Boo has been stuck over there for the most part. He finally got brave enough to jump over. But I see he's stuck again. You can come on. I gotta go update him on the chickens though. He does not care. Everybody is alive. Everybody made it. Um, the chickens were hanging out when I came in in their warming area, so yay. I know, I know you guys are a little mad at me. It's okay, I got you food. The water is frozen. The water line is frozen in the house. So they get more snow, as you can see. There's plenty of places in the barn that blow the snow in or have it fall through the top there. Definitely a reason I want to get this a little bit better shored up so not as much snow can come in. But it actually has been wonderful because the chickens will eat the snow for their liquids and they have that gravity feeder. So we make sure there's enough food in there for multiple days. So they have been just fine. Probably would guess that those eggs are all frozen. Honestly, I'll just put this down for a little extra. Oh, I see something funny. Hey, I found an egg. Or two. I found some eggs. 
That's hilarious. This one, as you can see, is definitely broken. Relatively fresh, too. And one more. Here, let's see if I can get this at least onto the ground. I don't think that's going to work. Well, I was successful, and the chicken's eating it now. But, uh, I did decide to get the other eggs out because they were all frozen. I think there's another one frozen to the metal. Not going to mess with that. Looks like there's a little fairy egg in that far one that somebody just is just starting to lay. Not going to mess with that either. Because I need to bring these to the pigs. Well, I don't want to mess with those chickens. I shall come back for that. Right now, you guys need to see the ladies up by the house. They are doing A-OK -okay as well. Hi, sweet babies. I don't have any more snacks for you. You guys doing okay? Hanging in there, polka dotty? Yeah, run away. It's okay. They're fine. Eating almost all of their feet already. Looks like they got lucky with snowdrifts. They've been able to come in and out pretty easily. But man, was that wind a whipping. Oh, buddy, you look so cold. You look so cold. Let's go inside, okay? We'll go inside Grandma's house. We gotta check on the water lines. You girls be good. We'll see you later. All right, well, we got the water lines thawed in the house. I've got warm water that I'm just going to distribute just a little bit. Not a whole lot. I don't want a lot of freezing or anything like that. But I know Penelope, most of the animals don't mind the snow. Penelope really likes to have water. And uh, so do the chickens. They really enjoy the water. But like I said, they will totally drink or eat the snow if they have to. So... Give me, I'll be right back, and maybe we'll see Penelope drinking or something. Here, okay, let me get the other one for you, okay? I can always refill. It's not as easy for you guys. Oh, bossy baby. guys. I make sure there's plenty for everybody. I know it's been a few days, huh? It's been a crazy few days. So they don't necessarily want a whole lot, but they do like a little. I'm going to go refill these because, I mean, they're empty. And I'll bring you down to the chickens again. It's time to get the ice out and put some fresh water in here, but it's time to stomp. Oh, that's the, that's the spot right here. That's the hard part. See how much came out? Some of it. Enough. That's all we need. That and, well, I did want to get the chicken shit out of there. I don't want you drinking your own poop. That would be gross. Also, depending on what these are made out of, you can warm the very bottom to help you get that off the that layer. But you want to be careful because it will split these. can also just add some more in here. While that is situating, I am going to get Hey Hey and Honey some water. Yeah. 
Here we go, babe. Didn't work for me. One more time. Stay just long enough. Just need to stay just a little bit. There we go. It's not a whole lot of light over here. Sorry, folks. Turn that on. Da. Oh, there's lots of poop in there. I gotta clean that out for you, too. Getting some water, though. That's the important part. But, you know, I can't just let you do that. I'll be back. All right. Backed over here. One more time. Yay! No more poop. And now, they can have water. I don't put much. I just want to have it deep enough that they can actually, you know, drink properly. It's really barely anything, but it is enough for them to uh, get hydrated. All right, guys, I gotta come back over to you two. Yeah. Okay. I know. Hey, hey. Hey, he's thirsty, so he's probably going to peck at me. Maybe I can set you guys up and you guys can watch or something. Cool. Alright. Putting on my other glove. So if he does peck at me, it's not going to be a big deal. We need, to get this, we need to get that cleaned out for you guys. Don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Most of that is coming out real easy. There is a piece of poop that seems to be frozen in here, and I don't like that. There we go. All right. It's nice and clean, babes. Nice and clean. Not sanitized, but it's clean. Er. There we go. I'm gonna try and make this level for you. Here we go. More water, babes. in there though. That's fine, honey. That's just fine. Go ahead, drink your waters. Drink your waters. Okay, buddy. It's all right, buddy. And then these guys... I lost my leg. Where'd my leg go? There it is. Found it. They'll get back to drinking their water. Now, try and uh, position you guys over here. Babies. 
seems they're going to just take a second. They're more interested in the ice at the moment. Yeah. Eat that ice. That's fine. Do need to put this tarp back down for honey and hey hey. Just a little extra protection, hopefully, from wind and whatnot. Oh, sorry. Putting this back down for you guys. Okay. Oh, I don't think I latched their door. Did I? I did not latch their door. They could have they could have escaped. There we go, babes. Forgive me if this is a noisy video tonight. All right, you guys. Have a good evening. I'm done. I am done. I do need to turn this back to the timer, though. All right, that light will go on when it's necessary. Back to these guys. All right, you guys be good. Okay? Okay, Ziggies? You be good, boy. You be good. Yes. Hi, Lucy. It's okay. It's just me. I know. It's cold, huh? It's cold. We've got to get some more bedding in here for you. I'll right, have to go check and see what we have. Thank you all so very much for taking time out of your day to watch this video at any point that you see this. But if you're watching on Christmas, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Thank you for spending your time with me. Until next time.